What? The day I'm filming this is after Halloween. Hello, my name is Magnus Chase and good morning, you're going to die and you're watching Arrears World. So today I have a very, very exciting video today. Probably not for you, but for me especially. It is an unboxing, but this is a very special unboxing. It's not books I ordered. That's coming soon. I have like seven books ready for me to unbox once it comes. But this unboxing is so, so cool. I'll explain. So, so one of my most anticipated book releases was coming out and I don't have enough money for it because I'm buying books for this convention and the author is not going to be there. So I'm like, I'm not going to waste my money on it. And there's probably going to be so many requests at the library. It's not going to work well with me. But there is all these giveaways and everything for this book. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to enter because you know what? If I do win, good for me. If I don't win, that's sad. A few days after I entered into the giveaway, I was having a really crappy day at school. It was awful. You know how school is, right? Unless you're not in school anymore, then <laughs> good for you. I walk into sixth period and I look at my phone. It says, congrats. You won. Wait for it. I'm willing to wait for it. Magnus Chase in the Hammer of the Lore by Rick Riordan. So we're gonna unbox it today. So I have my scissors. We're gonna stab it. We're gonna stab it like Mercutio from Romeo and Juliet. He's the only good character in that thing. I'm so excited. I got this last night and I wanted to film this when my new camera came. Oh my god, I don't want to ruin anything. I, sh I should have done this sitting down, but I'm too much of a cool person to do that. Ugh, gods. Yeah, we need more of these scissors. Ow. I should have... Oh! Oh my god! If you look here, this is amazing. <laughs> Alright, so the first thing I see is this. And I know what it is. It's a pen hammer. It's not Riptide, but at least we have Hammer's Thor. Hammer's Thor. Thor's Hammer. Yes, yeah, switch the two. And, okay, the, the next thing I see, I'm so gonna use this. It's a luggage thingy. Because if you've read Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard and the Sword of Summer, you know that um, the heaven in Norse mythology is a hotel. <laughs> so how hotel Valhalla? Is that it? Judges? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna be the I'm gonna be the cool person in the airport. The next in here, it's a water bottle. It's, oh I'm so gonna use this. Like it's wooden and it says Magnus Chase on it. Oh yeah. And then this. This is my favorite part. Oh yeah, I look like an employee from it. Oh yeah. So, Hotel Valia. So we're gonna wear this and no one's gonna know what I'm talking about. It's I forgot that I was getting two books. The Guide to the Norse Gods, which is the new one that I didn't even know anything about until Courtney tweeted about it. And I'm like, wait, there's another Rick Riordan book coming out. Then we see, oh my God, I'm gonna cry. Everyone else has read this. Oh my God, it's in perfect condition. Hammer of Thor. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Oh, I can't wait to read this. I can't wait to read this. Everyone else has read it, but not me. Well, thank you guys. <laughs> so, it's a day later, and uh, I'm wearing my uh, Veil Hallo shirt. Well, look what decided to drop onto my doorstep today. Oh, yeah. I have never gotten a Barnes & Noble's box this big. Probably because I have like seven books to haul in here. So, we'll continue this unboxing video. My trusty scissors are back again. Let's talk about life. How are you doing today? NaNoWriMo is so going well. Everyone is doing so much better than me. Oh my god, this box. I know, well, sometimes your boxes are really annoying. And I hope these books aren't damaged because when I got Trials of Apollo, it was weird. Like, I want that book in perfect condition. I want every Rick Riordan book in perfect condition. Because, hello, Rick Riordan is one of the best authors ever. Sorry, Stephen Shabosky, but you haven't written anything since Perks, so. Oh, huh. I guess they're trying to copy a book outlet on this. <gasps> I totally forgot! That there's a new release in here, and I'm so 
excited. I'm going to read this next. I should be reading Hammer Thor, but I'm going to try to get through this box. Okay, so the first book I see, already, I, I already know I'm going to obsess over this book because I've heard so many great things. The sequel just came out, and that is Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And you, it's through emails, it's through interviews, it's through pictures. It seems so... I've heard Bryn's bookshelf, she raves about this book, and she has good judgment, so I'm gonna trust her. Oh my god! <laughs> Even if I don't like this book, you gotta admit, this is pretty freaking awesome. Next book I have in here, I'm actually reading on audiobook right now, and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Oh, this is short. I don't know what this book is about. I kinda do. Not really. <laughs> I'm kind of confused. It's about a girl. Um, when she's little, she's told that she will kill her first love. She doesn't know how, but she's going to kill someone, and she just basically tries to stay away from Um, I didn't notice that there are boys on here. I, I wonder which boy is which. Oh, this book. I am so excited about this book. This book I have in here is Passenger by Alexander Bracken. Now, I tried reading Darkest Minds, like, twice. Couldn't get into it. But I've heard so much good stuff about Passenger. I believe some people have compared it to Outlander. I'm not allowed to read Outlander, but my mom is obsessed with the TV show and the books. This cover is gorgeous. Even if you hate this book, same thing with Illumina, you got in it. There's a lot of work on this. This is beautiful. So, the next book that I see in here is a book I actually just recently finished. Remember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I've heard amazing things about this book. The author seems really cool person. But while I was reading this book, oh my god. Such a Star Wars fan fiction. Layla? Is it Layla? I don't know, but some people pronounce it Leia. Like Leia Organa or um the Mortal Empire. Empire? No, no, no. We don't have rebellion. But the one name she chose is the Resistance. Like, Resistance? Force Awakens? I am normal, right? <laughs> what this is about, I kind of do know, even though I finished it. I need to watch a review of it, because some stuff doesn't, like, flush through my head. I really did enjoy this book. So what else do we have in here? Ooh! It's the next book I see in here. I'm so excited for it, even though I've already read it. But I'm obsessed with this book. This book is so underrated. It is Lois Lane Fallout by Gwen Devon. If you don't know what the series is about, the this title gives it away. It's about Lois Lane, and you don't know what Lois Lane is. She's um Superman's Bay. This book gives Lois Lane justice. Someone commented a while back talking about how Lois Lane is annoying in Batman vs Superman. I totally agree. I hated her in Batman vs Superman, but this book series gives her justice. You loved Smallville. I totally recommend this series. I need to finish Smallville. Smallville was great, but then I didn't finish it. And I am so mad with myself. The next book I have in here, new release, and I totally forgot it's in here, but it's so gorgeous. Oh my god, I can't wait to read this once NaNoWriMo is like settled down. But this is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. I loved everything, everything. And I cannot wait to read this. I don't know what's about. I don't know anything except it's Nicola Yoon. We're excited for this book. So the last book I have in here is, has some similarities to The Sun is Also Star. This is actually Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. I just need it in my possession because I love this book. If you haven't read it already, it's becoming a movie with Nick Robinson and Amanda Stenbegalach. I feel really bad because she's awesome. You know what everything everything is about? I don't know if I should tell you. I should tell you. So this book follows a girl named the name of something. I don't remember because I read this book back in the summer. Madeline. Her name is Madeline. Madeline has this disease where she's basically allergic to everything. Everything. Like, if she was filming a video right now, she'd probably be dead. Cause she's probably allergic to this camera. She's probably allergic to this carpet. She's probably allergic to, uh, to this box. But then, she sees this cute guy outside her window and they kind of get this, this internet kind of flirting going on. And they want to meet each other and it's really cute. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Oh, that's so cute. I'm so glad to have this. I'm gonna stack up these books. I should probably give Magnus Chase in that other book, but it's upstairs and I'm too lazy to get it. 
We got Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon. Those Winds Fall Out by Gwen Devon. Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. Passenger by Alexandra. The Raven Boys by Mangustia Botter. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Well, that is it for this book haul. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below if you've read some of these books. So, bye. What?